Making a 3D asset might seem like a huge process, but it actually follows a fairly standard workflow. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire pipeline from the very first idea to the final render inside a game engine. I won't go step by step, but I'll show you how the pieces fit together using this example asset. Every asset starts with an idea. Before opening any 3D software, you gather references, images, concept art, or even photos you take yourself. This step helps you nail down shape language, proportions, and materials. Next is the blockout. This is where you build the asset in its simplest forms. Basic shapes, nothing fancy. The goal here is in detail. It's scale, silhouette, and proportions. This stage is quick, but it sets the foundation for everything else. Once the blockout feels solid, you move into the high poly modeling or sculpting. This is where all the fine details, bevels, and surface shapes are created. You don't worry about optimization yet. The goal here is to make the best looking version of the model possible. A high poly model looks great, but it's not suitable usually for real time engines. That's where retopology comes in. You build a clean, optimized low poly mesh that captures the shape of the high poly. The trick is balancing performance with silhouette. For retopology, you can manually retopologize your mesh, or you can decimate it in cases where the mesh is not meant to animate. Alternatively, you can also create a low poly first and then do the high poly details. This way, you can use the low poly that you first created as your final model. Next, UV unwrapping. This is basically the process of flattening your 3D model into 2D space so textures can be painted on. Clean UVs makes texturing much easier and more efficient. It is typically recommended that you keep UV seams in areas that are not going to be too visible in the model. Another trick is to keep UV seams near a 90 degree angle change of the model. With the high poly and low poly ready, you bake details from the high poly onto the low poly as texture maps. Things like normal maps, ambient occlusion, curvature. This lets the low poly look detailed without having millions of polygons. Now the fun part, texturing. Using software like Substance Painter, you create materials, color variation, wear and tear. This is where the asset really comes alive, because textures sell the realism and story behind it. Once textures are done, you export everything and bring it into your game engine. Here you can set up materials, tweak roughness and metallic values, and test how it looks under different lighting setups. Seeing the asset in the engine is where you know if it's working. The last step is polish, adjusting textures, fixing shading issues, maybe adding a bit of post-process as well. For portfolio work, you might set up a turntable render or beauty shot to really showcase the asset. And that's the full 3D asset workflow, from concept to blockout, sculpt, retopo, UVs, baking, texturing, and finally game engine presentation. Every stage builds on the last, and once you understand the pipeline, you can apply it to anything you want to create. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.